Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another Monsters Adventure. So, in today's video, I'm back with another episode. This is episode 46, and let's see what you can accomplish in today's episode. So, I hope you guys are excited for today's video. If you are, drop a like and also subscribe to the channel with notifications on. Anyways, I do want to show this to you guys, okay? So, my last episode, I made a video on, you know, basically, this is the time where you can max out your food production or basically just maximize your food production, okay? And so, take a look at this. I have 50 million food. And I got this only throughout once, just once um, doing, you know, this, activating this, having 1 billion gold, and then just growing, you know, this food right here. Let me see. This one, the black lotus root, the one that I just got. So that got me 50 million food in one go. Um, it did take a lot of gold, as you guys could see. Um, I was left with like 86 million gold or something like that um but then i collected some gold here and there so technically 52.6 million so basically over 50 million um i did it all in one go and so that's why i told you guys uh first you need to have a good amount of gold uh so that would be like around 1 billion or more than 1 billion but at least 1 billion okay and so once you do that you need to get three stars in your food farm or not food farm, but like the food guardian, right? The temple guardian. You have to have three stars in there. So it's 100%. And once you activate that, you want to go ahead and start growing the black lotus root. But now that I'm all done with that, um, I don't feel like activating it again right now. Because I already got all the food um, that I want. And right now I only have 124 million. So it's going to be a wait if I activate it. Uh, because then I'm going to run out of gold eventually. Very soon. Um, so basically all I did was... I did all that, right? All the steps that I mentioned earlier, and I logged in every uh, every hour. Um, I think it took how many? I don't know. <laughs> I, I can't guess. I wouldn't guess actually, but it was definitely over eleven or maybe fifteen um, times that I, you know, grew these food. So it took me a while, um, but I did it all in one go and. Um, my gold is now down to like 100 million, as you guys can see. But I did get 52 million, which is a good amount. So we can go ahead and spend that food towards feeding our monsters now. Okay? So let me see here. What am I running? Okay, I'm still running Armel with these uh, two guys. Uh, let me see. Uh, my other monster is crafting right now, Royal Magus. So once this is done, I can go ahead and hatch it, feed it up. And then uh, what I can do from there on is maybe use that on PvP. Maybe I can use World Magus with this monster, run this as an attacker uh, because of the magic weakness that um, she applies. Do, we can deal quite a lot of damage. So I'm going to go on and feed this up. I still have 52 million food as you guys can see. So I'm stacked on food right now. I'm not lacking on that. Uh, although I do have to get more gold. But right now, right now I'm fine. I'm doing fine with resources. Alright, uh, take a look at this. We did actually build this, I think. Um, I think it was in my last episode, right? I went ahead and built this. Let's go ahead and get the XP. Let's check out the monster vaults here. Alright, so it looks like I have 55 keys. So basically how this works... Um, oh, they actually give you two free spots, by the way, in the beginning. But this, basically how it works is that if you have any eggs, uh, like for example this. Let me see, can I actually hatch this? So I don't have any habitats right here that are free for this monster. So that means I can just go ahead and place it right here. Um, the thing is though, you can't get any gold from this. Okay, so they don't make any gold. You can't collect it, unfortunately. I wish you could. Um, but other than that, you can go ahead and ruin it. You can, you know, equip relics. You can feed it up if you'd like to. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, take a look at this. It's only one gem for now. <gasps> oh, wait. You know what you could do? Okay. What you could do is unlock it with gems. Spend gems instead of the vault keys. Because take a look at it. It takes 5 vault keys, right? And it's always 5 keys. So you should spend gems in the beginning. Oh, never mind. Okay, so your first one's going to be 1 gem. And then it's going to increase to 15. I'm going to have to use my vault keys now. Yeah, 15 gems. So your first one, or technically your third one, uh, you'll have to spend that 1 gem just to save 5 vault keys. Um... Because trust me, you're going to regret it later on. Now it's 20 gems. And I think it stays at 20 gems. And that's about it, right? Or maybe the price will increase eventually. Okay, 25. So, I mean, if you want to, you can, you know, spend those few gems. Like, for example, the third one was one gem. The fourth one was, like, 
10 or 15 gems so you can spend those if you'd like to uh but me i just spent one gem saved myself five vault keys and uh that's about it so right now i have lots of extra spots here um so you can just place any monster in there uh it could be any rarity it could be any element doesn't really matter you just go ahead and place it and uh it'll take it all right so i do have tons of food once again um i am not well i don't know is this fed up yeah this is a hundred I'm just trying to take care of the ones that are actually still usable nowadays because the old ones like legendary monsters like these i don't feel like spending my feet on them because uh, there's just no oh chocolate i forgot i have this heck yeah this is definitely worth i'm gonna go ahead and spend my food and get it to level 100 this monster is worth feeding and worth using and we actually Look at that. And Growth Spurt, we just got our first reward. Which was just, you know, one Bronze Relic chest. So now it is uh, getting a bit more difficult. Did, did we actually get the... No, we didn't get it. Okay, it's 2.11 million food that we fed. Uh, so if to go, in order to get the 20 gems, you need to get 2.4 million. Um, but we did get Chuckle to that. Um, do we have any team speeds here? Or speed wins? Um... I could probably just go with these team speeds here. Maybe I can do two team speed and one speed or something. I'll have to come up with a nice team here. Okay, maybe instead of you, I'm going to use Chuckle. Let's go with Chuckle. And let's go with Speed Runes. Because I'm going to be using her Fire Protection. Her Fire Protection is really good. It is so good. Okay. We definitely need the... Okay, let's put Fairy Mouse in here. The heal skill for sure. And then the damage boost, I guess we can keep as well. Heck yeah, this one's just really good, guys. So if you haven't um, fed up your chuckle yet, make sure you feed it up. Pump Seed Staff? No, I don't feel like giving up Pump Seed Staff. <laughs> um, oh, this is actually a great time for me to level up my uh, relics as well. Yeah, because I have tons of food, right? So I can go ahead and autofill this. Oh my gosh, look at the amount of food it takes. But it's okay. It's going to be worth it for the long run, okay? So we're going to spend 1.1 million food, which isn't actually much if you think about it because I have a ton. I still have 49 million now. So level 10 relic here, not bad. Um, although Nadial Staff isn't really best to give to this monster. So I'm going to go ahead and skip on that. Um, but so let's go ahead and open this up. And we're going to go ahead and fight in here, Okay. Let's see what we got here. Oh, level 100, 185. Okay. So we don't have to go with the Pyro Shield right away. Um, let's go ahead and give Damage Boost to Borna. And Accuracy. Or Precision. Look how powerful this monster is now. I'm going to get rid of you. So you don't freeze me later on. I'm going to hit you guys with AoE Freeze. And I'll just deal some damage here. And Boronauts, can you actually one-tap him? No, nope, he can't. You, I mean, you did quite a lot of damage, doll. And I'll just hit you guys with Body Slam. Okay, this team actually works kind of well. Um, although I do need a better attacker than Boronaut. Uh, Boronaut is more of a tank. Um, but hopefully later on when I find a better attacker, I could just go on and use that. Hopefully the next PP monster is uh, an attacker. You guys can let me know in the comments for those of you that knows it, that check the leaks. Let me know if the next PvP monster is... Um, what is it called? An attacker, because I'm really looking forward uh, to getting an attacker soon. It'd be nice if it is an attacker, because I could start using it, and I could rank it up as well. Alright, we get three stars from this. Um, this is when you battle um, this is when you battle that Resurrector Ural. And so lots of players are actually finding this difficult, so let's see if we can actually beat this. We should be able to. Um, I'll just do auto here for these battles because they're really not that hard. But when we get to the final one, we're going to see how it goes. We don't have to do auto on the last one because I want to show you guys how I'm going to beat it. Hopefully I'll be able to do it. Let's see what we're going to get from this. Gems, please. Gems, gems, gems. No gems. We get a level 2 life. Okay. This is 153 right here. Looks like there are two rows here. Charge up. Hit them with this. I'm going to go on and charge up. Charge up. And then hit them with the AoE Artificial Sun. I'll just do auto here. Go on Eliminator. Nice. Okay. 
cool. We get three stars from that as well. I was expecting just a two, but I'll take the three stars. Uh, look at those resources. That's helping out. That will help out a ton. We get one million gold now. So yeah, the gold, I mean everything, not just gold, but food and other resources will increase the more um, you progress, which is nice. Challenge completed. What challenge was that? Okay. Oh, I thought there was going to be three rows. I don't know. I thought I saw three rows. It was just you. Nice. Okay. We're going to go on and spend this. Can we get the gems? Oh, we were one off. Come on. This is one off. Okay. So this is when you battle Arc Knight or Arch Knight. Okay. So it has 17,000 HP. Not that much. You can even auto this if you'd want to. If you'd like to. Um, so... Yeah, you could just auto it and you'll be able to win it. Arch Knight looks pretty big, but trust me, it only has 17k HP. Um, if you can't beat it in terms of like dealing damage, just go ahead and start stacking up some tortures. Some tortures would help out a ton. 550k gold. Node 156. Okay. I think if I just used my AoE in the beginning, it would have been enough to take care of all of them she just went with a single target instead all right three starts from this 136k gold and 7900 food as well we're pretty close to level 73 i mean i'm not really looking forward to leveling up as i want um if i do then it's whatever but um just trying to show you guys how to beat these um nodes in adventure map using these mythic monsters now Keep in mind, these are all original mythic monsters, okay? If you have corrupted mythic monsters, I mean, you have better stats, so it'll be a lot easier for you. But these are original mythic monsters. Okay, so what note? Are, okay, note 158 is next. Looks like there's going to be about two waves. So we can start off with this first. And then please use your AoE skill. Nope, you went with a single target instead. Can you use your AoE skill now? There we go. Awesome. And we got victory there too. Is it a 3 star? It is a 3 star. Awesome. Legendary Phantom. Alright. Let's go ahead and spin this. Can we get something nice? We get a Team Stamina level 2. One of them. This is 159. Ooh, Nature Monsters. I know exactly how to deal with these. Watch this. I use my AoE fire skill. One tap them. We charge up here and then we use artificial sun and get rid of all of them just like that. Nice. That's a three star two. And okay, so the next node will get us to level 73. Um, and we can get some vault keys from that as well. So let's go. Um, this is where you fight Euro with his two other monsters. These are Urals. This one, it's... Oh, their names are different. Celestial Apostle? Celestial Azazel? I don't know how to pronounce it. Okay, so apparently the main monster, the this one right here, he's a huge problem, right? Because they keep resurrecting and stuff. Um, but take a look at the life stat. You have about 369,664. That's what lots of players are scared of, seeing that. So all you need to do is stack up some tortures. So apparently, this monster is immune to blind, has hardened trait, uh, immune to stun, immune to daze, immune to poison, and burning. So you can't apply burning, poison, and those other stuff that he's immune to. Um, but we can apply some other things. Do I need to switch teams? I don't really think so. Uh, having a mega taunt will be a huge help. It'll be a huge help, especially Bombetta. Bombetta is going to be very, very nice against it. Be you know why? Because of the element advantage, right? Light versus light, they'll be dealing like less damage. And also, Bombetta can cleanse and heal up as well. Okay? So you just need... You can literally use two attackers and Bombetta. Okay? It could be any attackers. Alright, so we fight. We take in the first turn. Let's hit them with cooldown activation. Alright? And that will also apply bleeding. So they're not immune to bleeding, keep in mind. We can actually do that. And then we're going to hit them with Sunburn as well. We're going to stack up the Sunburn there as well. So as you guys can see, they have Sunburn now. And they also have Bleeding. So that'll deal quite a lot of damage. They already mean to Burning. 
we already applied that so let's go with um let's go with the aoe burning but this is just to deal some damage i know they're immune to it these ones aren't that one is this these monsters aren't immune to shocks if you want to apply that shock too oh that missed unfortunately unfortunately it missed we're gonna have to charge up there we're gonna charge up it dealt a 64k damage the reason why he charged up was because of cooldown activation that i applied earlier now we can go and apply that shock that missed earlier um and this monster is immune to stun actually all of them are so you can't really stun them how about i use this just so that i could get an extra turn and then i use this well actually that was pointless i thought it would deal some damage Mecha Possession. This monster is not immune to possession, so you can go ahead and possess it. So that's good. So now there, he's either, you know, going to charge up or he's just going to attack himself. So let's see what he does on his second go. Look how much damage it deals, the tortures and stuff. We can go ahead and possess it again. Oh, actually, never mind. We can't because it was recently possessed. Um, but let's deal some more damage here let's go ahead and use something like this and then we can just finish it off with that just like that easy peasy i could have literally autoed it as well and i could have ended up winning it um but who cares about the stars because as long as you beat it and you move on you know uh so that is what you get you get about 9500 food and 55.2 million xp from that okay so we reach level 73 and we get five vault keys and one gem nice What's the offer? Okay, level up offer for level 73. You get a legendary habitat, team strength level 7. Why did they give you a team strength level 7? Um, and this monster. For 250 gems, it's not worth it. Skip it. Um, but adventure map, what do we have? Ooh, Cyanatura. Ah, you remember that monster. And then there's also Lamo. <laughs> oh, man. With that, I remember battling that on my main account a while ago. That was super fun. Uh, super difficult at the time, too. Because I was using like legendary monsters and um, epics and stuff. But it'll be a lot easier now with mythics. Uh, but yeah guys, that's going to be pretty much it for today's Monster Legends video. I just wanted to make this video to explain how I got 50 million food, over 50 million food. And how, basically, how I did it, you know? Um, just to teach you guys, for those of you that are struggling with uh, getting food and stuff like that. And also, if you needed help with beating this node. Super simple. All you need is monsters that apply sorcerers that they're not immune to. And also, you can go on and control them with like mega possession, apply cooldown activation, stuff like that. Um, but I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. If you did, drop a like and also subscribe to the channel notifications on. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.